We present here a case of a long-standing persistent AF ablation guided by spatiotemporal dispersion of electrograms. This patient is a 68 years old man with a long history of AF since 1995. His atrial fibrillation is persistent since at least three years. In 2015, he experienced a previous conventional ablation procedures in another center with PV isolation and lines. This procedure was a failure without AF termination and AF recurrence immediately after electrical catoversion. The first step of the procedure is a careful biatrial mapping. We use a multi-electrode catheter and start here in the left atrium. This moment of the procedure is crucial. We need a very high density of points in order to delineate accurately the boundaries of the discussion areas. A careful right atrium mapping is very important before starting ablation. You can see here the biatrial dispersion map with one main area on the posterior wall and the floor of the left atrium. Then we start the ablation on this side. We use low power of radio frequency because of the proximity of the esophagus. During ablation on this main area of dispersion, we terminate atrial fibrillation directly into sinus rhythm. The radio frequency time to terminate AF was very short here, and we ablate only 3.5 cm square of the left atrium surface. Then we continue the ablation of this area. After ablating the whole area, we try to induce AF with rapid atrial facing. As you can see here, the non-inducibility endpoint was achieved. You can see here the whole biatrial ablation area corresponding to 10% of the biatrial surface. <laughs> 